Hey everybody, I'm going to tell you what's up. It is yard sale season again. Woohoo! And I'm so excited. There are three of them this morning and I'm going to meet my friend Katie. She's my partner in crime when I go yard selling and thrifting a lot. You are going to love her. So let's go. Hi. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, this is Katie. She's going to go yard selling with me today. Jason coming? Yeah. All right. Woohoo! Let's go. Yeah, looks like a good one. Where'd you get, Jason? I'm ready to go fishing. What'd you get? Fish on. Oh, I got my rod. I got my reel. All right. I, I seen that lure. scope. I thought that was kind of cool, but then I. <laughs> so I bought that pot for fifty cents. Did you see that uh, frying pan with a lid that I bought? That's like a seventy-five dollar pot. It can go. It will go between fifty and a hundred bucks. Mm. Sold exactly. Sold. So, what'd you get a pot? I did. It's a Wagner Ware. Oh. Yeah. So, I got this Wagner Ware pan with lid. This is something for you to look out for. Oh, a lot of noise here. Got this right here. Picked it up for 50 cents, and this can sell up to $100. I'm going to polish it up. I mean, up to $100. I'm not going to say you're going to get 100 bucks out of it, but it could sell for maybe $50 to $100. How about that? Got a few Dr. Seuss books. I got those super cheap. And a DVD burner for $5. I don't know if it works or not, but um, I can definitely do better than $5 on, on eBay. So I did pretty good. Let's see what Katie got. All right. Katie, what did you buy? A sewing machine? I got a sewing machine for 10 bucks with the owner's manual and everything, and it works. And I got some walkie-talkies that are in their case and have gonna, everything with them. Are you going to keep them or are you going to sell them? I'm going to keep the walkie-talkies, and I'm going to use them when we are um, in Elk City. Okay. Um, well, coffee time! And... I might actually give the sewing machine away to this gal I saw on Facebook who said that her daughter really needed one and oh. wanted to learn to sew. Okay, we got another sale. It says no early birds, but there's a bunch of cars parked around here. I wonder there's if they're open. Oh, people are getting out. Oh, yeah, people oh, are going there. Dirty bastards. Dirty bastards. We were open a half hour ago. Those little... <laughs> well, let's get going. Whoop, whoop. What'd you get? I got a jacket and I got some Mickey Mouse stuff for Abel. Oh, sweet. You just get so happy. I got this vintage J.C. Penney's this foremost hunting plaid jacket from the 60s. Oh, I got it for $5, and I could probably get 100 bucks out of it. Oh, <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, I knew that that would be something good. Look, look at our car already. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. We're filling up. We're filling it up. I want to get in. We got to get to the other one because there was okay. no early birds to this one and everybody's already been here. So get Jason. Okay. I'll tell him. All right. And then so we're like here like a half hour early and there's already like a ton of cars here. Now, what is this? Katie and Jason are bickering about this at the right house or not. Obviously it is. I think the Escalade is a little full right now. Uh, oh. Can you put it down here? Yeah. So I got this box of stuff for $40, which I got, this is like cast iron, these horses, and I can't even get it out right now, but it's got a trailer with a bunch of beer kegs on it, and in new in the package here is a golden age of country, I got this for a dollar, just a bunch of CDs, I didn't even, I didn't get a chance to look at anything, I couldn't look up any comps because the internet was, it was kind of rural and there was no internet. Um, Planet Earth, the complete series, new in the package for a dollar, Lord of the Rings, and got a package of family movies as well for a dollar, and Indiana Jones, the complete series in a dollar. <laughs> well, and then I got a baseball mitt down here. Actually, this whole box only, I paid 40 bucks for the whole box by the time I said and done, she made me a deal. Nice baseball mitt. Yeah. Rawlings, the gold glove. And then, all these little ugly baby dolls. That smell like a real baby. They smell like a real baby. They're anatomically correct. And these, I looked them up. I got all the dolls. Oh, originally, they were 10 bucks. 
And like I said, I made a deal on the box. But all these dolls sell for like 20 bucks a piece on... And they were, it was $10 for all of them. For all of them, but then like I said, she ended up making a deal for the whole box. So anyway... I think I did pretty good on that. I'm going to try to get that out oh, to the car. Oh, a heavy pan. Oh, that is a heavy pan. Woo. Oh, my goodness. Yes. And Dr. Seuss books. And some Dr. Seuss books. They're not the band books, but I still bought them anyway because they were really cheap. And a DVD recorder, which I got $5 on that. But, yeah. 50 cents. 50 cents for that pan. That's probably my best deal. That's I could probably clean that up and get close to 100 bucks out of it. See, that's... Oh, I have no idea. I never know. Wagner Ware, Sydney. Somebody said that I should do a video on vintage cookware and what's sellable and what's not. Maybe I've got some uh, vintage, like, Woolrich buffalo plaid hunting jacket. I can't really get that out there. That's a real nice piece. And some other vintage clothing here. The sweater's in pretty bad shape, but Katie wanted it anyway. She thought she'd get it dry cleaned and maybe de, de -pile it, pile it, pill it, whatever you want to call it. Oh, we're getting out so I got these. I got this whole salad set here for about $5 for salad bowls. They still have the tags on it. Macy's, the seller. Um, you know, for $5, if it can't sell, maybe I can use it myself. Who knows? We'll see. And what do you think of that? Ugly Christmas sweater with a sumo wrestler on it. <laughs> I'm going to save that until um, September. Then I got another Christmas sweater here. Both of them for a dollar a piece. Not bad. So that $40 lot that I got, I also got these water, these walking sticks in there. They're pretty cool. Oh, so the weather turned crappy and cold. Okay, guys, I've been back for quite some time. I hope you can hear me. It kind of got a little cold today, and I have the stove, the pellet stove going, and it, it can be a little bit loud. But I did want to check in and say that I've already got a few things listed, including the little baby dolls, the Ashton, they're Ashton Drake dolls by Sherry Ron, and I think I'm saying that correctly. I listed them between $32 and $25 a piece. I did put one that was missing some accessories, a hat, and maybe something else. I listed it at $15 a best offer, and I had already received an $8 best offer on that, and it's already been paid, so I went ahead and took it because I don't know if I'm going to get any more out of them or not, and I didn't want to sit around and wait, or I didn't want to reject the offer and then to get nothing else, especially since it was missing a piece. The other ones, I will probably be a little bit more... Um, I, I might just want to hang on to those a little bit longer. I'm not going to just take the first off where I get it. They're not any good. The skillet that I bought, I looked up comps again. They're all over the board. I seen one that sold for $20. I seen one that sold for $35. And I seen one that sold for $99. It might just depend on how well it's cleaned up. And I have everything on hand. I have copper polish. I have stainless steel polish. I have silver polish. I have everything there is to clean vintage cookware and get it up and going. So I'll work on that a little bit later on as well. The um, plaid jacket that I purchased needs some mending here and there, not a whole lot. I just need to kind of spruce it up around the edges and, and get it going. I'm not sure. The high, high list on that is $99. It does have some flaws, so um, I, I will list lower than that. I'm just not sure what I've got going on that. I've listed some shoes that I purchased already from yesterday, and I think, gosh, I think I've already got about 10 things listed since I've been home, so I am on a roll. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate a subscription, thumbs up, and I will be taking you on some more yard sale adventures this summer. So until next time, bye-bye.